listening to Search the Scriptures Daily, a program in which we encourage everyone who desires to know God's truth to look to God's Word for all that is essential for salvation and living one's life in a way that is pleasing to Him. We've been discussing the subject of psychology and the church in this first segment of our program, and today, Dave, I thought we'd go over some of the myths that Christians and others believe that delude them into turning to psychological counseling for everyday problems of living. Now, one common myth is that in order to be an effective counselor, you need to be academically educated, have a PhD or an MD degree, and be professionally licensed. It's not true, right? How dare you say that, Tom? I mean, why do we license these people? Why do they, why do they go to them if— and they charge pretty well, supposedly, hefty fees. Supposedly, David, licensing is supposed to protect us, which is uh, just an absurdity. But I, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. It's just, you know, just the two of us talking about this. Can we back up what we're saying, that it, it indeed is a myth? I think we can. Well, I know you got a lot of quotes there, Tom. Yeah. I remember Bernie Zilbergill, clinical psychologist, and he just says, there is no evidence that professional training helps you at all. Well, he also says that if he had a problem, well, let's say with a spouse or something like that, that he, the last person he'd go to would be a shrink. He would find somebody who was doing well in right. areas that he was having trouble with, right. and that's where he'd get counsel. But why would he say that? I mean, he's a clinical psychologist. He knows the field. Not a Christian. No, not at all. But he says that because the, the research all supports his contention here that, well, let's get into some of this. I've got a, uh, well, here's a quote from Dr. Robin Dawes. Uh, he wrote a book called House of Cards, Psychology and Psychotherapy Built on Myth. I've got this book right here, Dave, and uh, here's a quote. The therapist credentials. PhD, MD, or no advanced degree and experience were unrelated to the effectiveness of therapy. Such things are irrelevant, or at least that is what all the evidence indicates. This was in a study they did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes on to say, evaluating the efficacy of psychotherapy has led us to conclude that Professional psychologists are no better psychotherapists than anyone else with minimal training, sometimes those without any training at all. Well, Tom, I would think that would be an insult or at least very discouraging. I mean, this is a heavy blow. Let's say that I've gone through four years of university and then I've had some extra training to uh, as many pastors, you know. Mm -hmm. They've gone back to Fuller Graduate School of Psychology in Pasadena. They, they could go back to any Christian university because this is the number two career choice among Christian universities and uh, colleges. And uh, so I've spent all this time and effort, and I've waded through all these teachings of these humanists, and I've tried to sort them out, you know, and keep from getting led too far astray as... James Dobson says it's a great profession, but you got to be—you have to have faith strong enough to withstand the humanist to which you'll be exposed. But anyway, whether I'm a Christian or not, I have to qualify in the same manner, and I pass my state boards, and I've done all this stuff, and wow, and I'm no better at counseling than anybody else. Well, <laughs> Dave, that's what the studies tell us. Again, you can have your opinion, I can have my opinion, but these are, these are well-grounded studies. Here's one by um, Dr. Hans Strupp, mm -hmm. Vanderbilt University. He had five professional therapists participating in the study who were selected on the basis of their reputation in the professional and academic community for their clinical expertise. Their average length of experience was 23 years. The second group that was involved in the therapy, although they were not professionals, they were college professors uh, from a variety of fields. Again, no therapeutic training. The outcome was that the students seen by the non-professionals showed as much improvement as those seen by the highly experienced and specially trained therapists. 
So you have to begin to think, well, wait a minute. Then what is helping people? We're going to get to that, Dave. I'm sort of leading up to it. Well, what are they charging for? Well, that's a whole other problem. Oh. Obviously, in these in these uh, these programs, it's uh, it's sponsored and there is no charge. But still, these these young people, the college students, want to get their problems solved. Tom, uh, I know these facts, and they must be shocking to people who are listening because it sounds like a fraud. You know, they're charging you a pretty hefty fee, uh, and uh, of course, another problem is there's not a real relationship, and you'll get to that, <laughs> get which, to that. Which, which, which there's not a real relationship which is necessary because you're my client, Tom. I am looking at the wa- stopwatch, uh, and, I, and, you know, five more minutes, you're out of here, right. and I got another or one waiting. You, right. Uh, or, or you stay here another hour, and it costs you uh, another $175 right. or whatever. This is, uh, going this is going money. This is a money-making proposition. <laughs> Dave, in going over this material, uh, one uh, concerned individual who's done the research suggested, I want to talk about getting beaten back quickly, he said, well, if anybody can do this, why don't we just have some people and we'll give them minimum wage, they'll charge like six bucks an hour. How do you think that would go over? Well, anyway, uh, psychiatrist Jerome Frank. I don't know why I'm laughing about this, but it, it because it's absurd on the one hand. On the other hand, it's a nervous laugh because it just grieves me, Dave. Yeah. Psychiatrist Jerome Frank tells us that although more than 6.5 million Americans see mental health professionals yearly, no scientific research has demonstrated quote, conclusively that professional psychotherapists produce results sufficiently better than non-professionals. Just another voice, again, Jerome Frank, really well-known. And and the men we're mentioning, uh, these are clinical, they have clinical background, but they are researchers. In other words, these are the guys who see whether this stuff is working or not. But, you know, Dave, I don't know if we mentioned this on programs before, but you have the, the researchers giving you the evidence but then you have the practitioners, and they don't care what the research is. Tom, the very serious part of this is, well, it's all serious. This has come in the church. Mm-hmm. And how many pastors, thousands and thousands of pastors, have been told that they are not competent to counsel people with the problems of today because they don't have any training in psychology. Mm-hmm. And they go back to seminaries, not to study the Word of God in more detail, not to understand better from the Word of God how to counsel people from the Word of God, which is the real counselor, but to get some expertise so that they can be part of the statistic and do no better than they would have done and probably worse because they've got wrong principles and wrong ideas now than they would have done had they not gone for this training. And as you've mentioned a number of times on the program, Tom, the church is the major referral agency to secular even, secular psychologists and psychiatrists. Correct. Dave, again, here's another study. I want our listeners, our viewers, to understand I'm just not picking one thing out here. The evidence is overwhelming, and I want to keep giving uh, the documentation for this. This is Dr. Joseph Durlach of Loyola University of Chicago. He did an extensive study comparing non-professionals with professionals. Here's what he writes. Overall, outcome results in comparative studies have favored non-professionals. There were no significant differences among helpers in 28 investigations, but non-professionals were significantly more effective than professionals in 12 studies. The provocative conclusion from these comparative investigations is that professionals do not possess demonstrably superior therapeutic skills compared with non-professionals. Moreover, professional... For more information about the Berean Call, call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website, 